Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's H Street Team Games here, and today we are going to be playing some Dying Light. Now this will be episode five, and if you guys remember, in the last episode we were helping out. Uh, I forgot his name. Hold on, let me see if I can see the mission. Packed with Rise. Make a second pickup at the Fisherman's Village. Now, it set me back a tiny bit. I had to go back, like, uh, right after the one thing exploded in there. If you guys were watching episode 4, uh, we got to see a bomber. I guess I'm pretty sure it was called. So, uh, those are kind of weird. But, besides that... Oh, shit! One of those things. We got to see one of those. things, gotta tell you. Some herbs here, might as well pick them up because I've never seen them anywhere else. Okay, Kareem, I'm outside the village, but there's a whole horde of infected in there. Let's see if I can close this door now. Yep. I gotta get that gate closed before more of those fuckers get inside. Survivor ranked up. All right. Let's see what we can get. We can get Master Backpacker. Learn how to use your space in your backpack more wisely. Gain six more slots for carrying weapons, which could be good for selling things. Barter. Get better at haggling lower prices in shops by 10%. I'm going to get the backpack. Because I, I do pick up weapons and stuff like that. So. Where's the door? Here it is. sent me. I'm here for a pickup. Huh. I heard someone talking in there. He was like, just stay still and maybe he'll go away. Yes. Who, who goes there? I'm here 
here on Rice's behalf. I'm supposed to pick something up. Oh, my God. That's one of Rice's men. What do I do? Just tell him to go away. He lives above the shore. So do you. Let me check over here. Who is it? I'm looking for someone in charge here. Rice sent me. Check the big house in the center of the village. He lives upstairs. Just be careful about this woman. She's had on wheels. Alright. Uh, thanks. So he said he's upstairs. I'm gonna check downstairs because they could be lying. Yeah? Hey, Rice sent me here to pick up something for him. You won't find it here. Not here. Not in this house. Not anywhere around this house. Gersel. Gersel is the one you're looking for. Okay. So this is the last area I can look. Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. What brought the monsters? Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them. All of them? Rice sent me. You, Gersel? Oh, you were for Rice. I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more freaking telling us. I got, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Perkin's gonna kick your ass too. It's Perkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment. So you make the payment, things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, Perkin. Give me a break, Isla. All right, fine, here. This is all of it. Ugh, a real man would have kicked his ass. I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self-hatred fades eventually. Just one pick up the gold. At the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry? There was until the Navy sent it to the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there, waiting for another one that never came. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water. Dang. So the military really doesn't want anyone leaving this area. They're like trying to lock it down and make it seem like this area never existed almost. I wonder why they they sent the boat in the first place then, because he said that they sent a ferry out. And then, uh, when it was going across the river, it sank, because uh, the military bombed it. I wonder what the point of uh, bringing the boat over to Haran was in, to begin with. set this entire place on fire? Jesus Christ. You people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. And for what it's worth, 
This isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it, aren't you? Okay, Kareem. I made the collection at the ferry station, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now, come back and claim your prize. Good job today. Oh, he said click your prize. I wonder if we're getting the the antizen that we need for our, the tower. Firecrackers, I guess. Can I make anything else? No. Dang. Pocket lighter. Okay, let's get this done. Swore it was in that like little uh, tunnel, but I went in there and I, I couldn't find like the little door that I came out of. And also, yes, I'm aware that there's an infected coming or like running after me. I just I'm just trying to get to uh, back to the main area as quick as possible. I saw my health just drain for like a couple seconds. No, oh, come on. Climb. Oh, there's an airdrop here. I think I found your lost patrol. Something ripped them limb from limb. Search the bodies. Look for some blueprints in a small envelope. 
Don't key. damage them. They're worth more than all those dead assholes put together. This is broken, can't use that anymore, same with that. Uh, so the heavy rebar, the gas pipe, the coffee, the, and I have 10 cigarette things. Um, which one's weaker? Oh, they're both the same. I'll do this. Let me equip my weapons real quick. There. Also, I think it's nighttime now, so... We're gonna have to deal with volatiles, I think the red ones are called. I don't see any of them yet, which is, I mean, I'm happy with that. Okay, now it's nighttime. I should have just let the volatiles handle him because he was shooting at them. Actually, we we should experiment on that because he was saying like he's never seen anyone kill or like they were all of them always say like they've never still or seen a dead volatile. So I wonder if they can even die. Die unless that wasn't a volatile. He, he just threw a grenade at me. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This guy's a pain in the ass. It seems like everything was very simple and like, you know, you just gotta get from one area to the next, and now it's like a pain in the ass. That's a volatile right there. He's spitting stuff at him. The 
that volatile. I, I've never liked a zombie more than I do to that, that uh, volatile right there. He literally just saved me from a pain in the ass. Is that the envelope right there? Okay, got it. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be a hero around here. Okay, I'm gonna get up inside. Gun. Wait, is there no gun? Are you kidding me? Okay, let me search around. Oh, this is now a safe zone. That's cool. Oh, I almost missed that. Safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. And you know the old saying, it is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Ah, uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. Fuck, I miss that totally. This place is really far away. Oh, there's a volatile right in front of their base. That was the volatile right there. Oh, right here are the blueprints. Green. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. Okay, let's get in here. If you show them compassion, they will see it as well. Yes. Understand? I give you shelter and bread, women, bullets. You can I should send every one of you to the pit. Lucky returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Anderson. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine. Like a good dog. Look, we had a deal. Your people need the antecedent. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. Oh, shit. If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir. She's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. 
I would have this scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it would take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? No. No, forget it. I'm not doing it. I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. Somehow I knew that he was going to do that. Somehow I knew that once once we uh, did the things that he told us to do, uh, he wasn't going to give us what he promised. But now the GRE wants to talk, so let's give it a call. Green here. Report. I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole. I don't think the GRE as well is the good guy. I feel like... Rise, as much as I, I, I hate to say it, Heads might up, be the good guy. This is Alfie. We've just lost gas in the tower, and as far as I can tell, the whole city has too. Any guess what happened? None. And our gas man, Jeff, opened quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Maybe, maybe, definitely, and get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. Uh, like I was saying, for some reason, I feel like Rise, as much of an asshole as he is, it's, I feel like he's the good guy in this situation. Like, the GRE, I feel like if we did get the thing, like, it might save the world or whatever, I feel like they're gonna keep it, or like, if they do try to use it for everyone, they're gonna make people buy it for, like, millions upon millions of dollars, I feel like. Wait, this is a car that was, um, I used, I, tr I set a trap inside of it. I just now noticed that it was on fire. Seven, all my stuff basically. 
kind of bad. Dismantle, I'll get a metal part. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Iran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatine. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Okay, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Okay. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. Hmm. Wait, there's a mission here. Oh, these missions, okay. Um. Hey, I saw your notice on the bulletin board. Uh, you're a runner. Excellent. That idiot that would sat on my glasses in the canteen and I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> How can I help Alfie if I can't see anything? I've got a backup there at my place. It's not far away, it's, you know, I can't get there myself. You need anything else on there? Oh my god, you'll do this for me? Thank you. Oh, and um, one more thing. See, we're going to start a vegetable garden on the roof, you know, so we can maybe not starve to death. But nobody here really knows how to do it. On my birthday, I, I got a book on gardening. I never read it. It's growing vegetables for dum-dums or something like that. It should be on a bookcase, but, you know, you might have to look around for it. Hmm. That doesn't seem too bad. Hey, have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rise's people spot it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. Yeah, I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. Okay, let's go to the shop. I think I picked up some more things. Yeah. Uh, he's got a blueprint, so I'll buy that. I'll also buy his components. And I'll sell him nothing, I guess. I don't have anything. Got a special deal for you. Fucking right. Men are always first to get to the drop. Okay. So we got a couple more side missions. And that's Jade just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've gotta get what little answers and I have back to the tower pronto. Let's go talk to Jade, Do you I think. Have the oh, there we go. Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including including a couple of kids. You better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to you now. God damn. Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. What happened here, it's so very sad. Okay, so you're... Oh, you have a lot of components. I'll buy some of these. Uh, I don't have anything I can buy, though. Okay, let's go talk to Brecken. Oh, okay, didn't mean to break his door down. where we get the announcements about the Anderson drops. And they just stopped. They were catching them! 
Nina had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. It's all the free way. Wait, that was you? Bracken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in her own? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. I reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's got to be another way, a better way. Fine. I'll wait, but not for long. Okay, so we still have a chance, maybe, to get something together. <sighs> Finally, I get to do some actual good. Look for a private spot on the roof to contact the GRE. It's, uh... Oh, Raheem. I forgot his name. Raheem, yeah. Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Cray. Oh, he's drunk. Can I trust you? <laughs> Why don't you have the drink, kid? Then I ought not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? That skyscraper, scout from the fall from nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives... Oh, Jesus, Raheem, you're not still on that. Cray, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. He needs to get away from the edge. We make a good tree. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, my. Ah! Don't drop me. Don't drop me. Team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, it's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit up my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Clay. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out. I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Get, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Okay, let's do this. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the Anzas and drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you reconsidered Rise's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermere would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some Antizen and then... Then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Presuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. You assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. I had a feeling that the GRE had something, like, weird going on, and that basically confirmed it. Craig, this is Jed. Do you copy? Loud and clear. What can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump, and I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Okay. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. 
Look for me in one of the box cars on the train trestle near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade. If we don't find that antigen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Okay, um, I think I'm going to leave this off here. We got a lot done. Uh, actually, quite a bit done. So, I think this is where I'm going to end it. If you did like the video, please like it and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Um, yeah, if you guys like it, like it. If you really like it, subscribe, please. It lets me know that I'm doing something good. Or something right for once, I guess. <laughs> um... But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys have a good morning or night.